you could feel God moving in. <laughs> and I wanted to just tell you from Wilmore, Kentucky, with the seminary right across the street from behind me, I graduated from there in the institution across the street. It's separate from here at the college. I graduated in 1970, and on February 3rd, before my graduation in May, I was a senior, and uh, one of the college, former college students said, you've got to go across the street, something's gonna happen. He had such an expectancy, of, and, and it was in the air. And, and uh, so he brought me over here to the chapel, and, and I ended up sitting on the, uh, on the aisle about the fifth row from the back 53 years ago. And at the end of the service, you could feel God moving in. <laughs> and and uh, the convener, a professor in the college, said, I believe I need to open up for anybody that needs to come down here to the altar. And <clears throat> they started running for it, just running for it. The bell rang about that time to return to classes. Nobody did. And uh, it continued on about 11, 12 o'clock. I knew that across the street they were having lunch. And so I ran across the street to tell everybody over there, hey guys, this, this, the revival's broken out. But nobody could connect to it. And they just sort of they thought I was crazy. But three or four did, ran, broke line, ran across the street, and they became great witnesses, some of those I know, and uh, witnesses in the days to follow. After that week when Revival closed down all the classes, they ended up uh, going out on witness teams, you know. And so everywhere, we're like glory carriers everywhere we went. It's like being a sponge, it was squeezed out. And, and the Spirit will move again. And I pray that it will come to you. You all have open hearts and open arms.